<clears throat> okay. I'm here. spam never mind so we're here uh as you know na is down we are here just for um eu today because of it i'm i'm sure na will be back up hopefully shortly but i am here um waiting for eu to load up it is eu is working by the way if you have a character over there and feel like playing it or you could do what I do, take it and then um, go on EU and then visit houses with EHT. That's what I do. Okay, so let's start with uh, la 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 the duplicate. Actually, no. Let's start with something else. Anything over 30 days. We'll go to Syrianix uh, 271 Biz Salata. Actually, I should write this down because I try to keep track so I don't have to index later. Oh, that's great. My headset fell on the ground. I'm just doing so good right now. All right, it's Syrianix 271 Gornair Biz Salata. Okay, away we go. Hello! We're obviously on EU since NA is down. Um, posted two videos you might be interested in. Um, both of them are in my Discord, but they're also um, on YouTube. And the first one is more uh what you call it generic it is a basic starting here no i win thank you hello smiley face um here's the beginner's building guide probably not applicable to too many people who watch the stream but there are occasionally noobs who come in and want to know how to stream oh this has a lot of effects this has 58 effects and two th uh, and 317 items, so maybe not um, ESO plus, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. But oh, look at that! All of that is fake. Now tell me that doesn't look legitimately good, like it's real. I mean, you have to kind of look closely at the arches to know they dyed everything really, really well. They look legit. Very nicely done. Um, hello, Salvis. Apologies for um, the weird time, but I was waiting for uh, <clears throat> things to come back up because it was up this morning at 8, so I thought, okay, so I wait a couple hours and it comes back up, and then I kept waiting and waiting and it never came back up. interesting stuff I really like how they took the ghostly trees and made them so transparent that you almost can't see them that is really neat yes potato is open if my fan is too loud please tell me it gets really hot in here um, so that was the first video. That video is for people who are just starting out and don't know how to really do anything with um, building. So it teaches you even how to put items down. I mean, it's super, super, super noob. The other one is um, an EHT video because I've been doing one of each. And this one is 
uh, ESO lighting tricks and muting effects. Good, how are you, Mullet? Um, Mullet Proof Bonk is a streamer. You should give him a follow. Um, that video is EHT. So, like, if you wanted to learn how to do um, lighting tricks, like changing the brightness and how it all works and the differences between the different uh, EHT effects, that would be where to go. And then also, well, that's a real one. The other one is, uh, it also has muting and sounds, because, like, I don't know if you knew, but you can actually play different songs in the background than what ESO gives you. So, like, you can make your house song be more sinister sounding, like suspenseful. And then the other thing is, um, you can mute things. So, like, remember the Rathana de Renata when you couldn't mute it? To, and you wanted it on to have the lights, but it still made that song, you can mute it. Another good place to mute is the um, Hollow Lunar Champion, because that thing makes a lot of noise in that front room. If you block out, you can mute that noise. Look at that. They, that is a lighting effect, just like we were discussing. I think they need to move it back a bit, because for some reason it's, it's cutting off on the nose, but that is an effect. So are these paintings. Very nicely done. If you have any housing questions, I'm always willing and happy to answer um, anything you want to know. Because that's why I'm here. I am here for that. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. We were looking at really old stuff, so. Yeah, so are we. So are we. Uh, Salinara. Erstwhile. Grot. Probably Grotto, but in German? Katie Bear! Uh oh. Never mind. Katie Bear TV! All right, let's go to Ula's uh, boarding. Ah, I should wait for her. Maze of Queen. Uh, Velothi Reverie. Black Flag. Inspired by Black Bear himself. I'm not really sure what that is, but boat, boats and ships. And that's uh, eight minutes in. Hello. Is it Monday? That's, I guess it is. I guess it is. Um, I just never really think about that. Okay. This is Mesa Queen's Velothi Reverie. You got it. Give me a second. I will no longer be purple. All right. Flowers. I've grown flowers. Meh, not a fan. Meh. This one. Okay. So we're here in a Velothi Reverie, which looks nothing like a Velothi Reverie. It looks like they reskinned with planks, which is neat. They do. Especially if you work from home. Yeah, the first one. I mean, the the warehouse without the H, like you said. They've got chickens and storage and all sorts of weird stuff in here. This is such an improvement. I think partially because of the lighting, it's so much better. That Brit, the Breton lamps are really quite uh, bright. The shandies. They also are fire, so they give off that warm look if you're looking for warmth. They've closed off the backyard with painting, so you can't go back there. Um, this you can go in, but it looks like it's, in, it's, wow, they've covered every inch. There's tarps, there's laundry, there's furnishings, there's tabards. 
or not tabards, um, whatever those things are called. The words are gone. Gosh, it's so busy. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. I work from home. But uh, I thought my job was going to end soon, but it turns out that there's like a little couple more projects we need to do. So I'm starting on New Mexico. Look at this basement. This is wild, Mesa Queen. I really like that you made it different. It's so different. And then this is the stairway up. Totally stuffed. It's almost like a hoarder's house. And then all the way on the top, we have the treasure is closed off to us. Boo hiss. But this house is wild. So I work online, so yeah, I mean, I'm a little spoiled that way, I guess. Um, let's go to Salvatares. Um, Alien Ruins, Garlis, wait, no, I'm reading the wrong one, uh, Temples and Worships. Hopefully we'll give, get some ideas out of this, huh? I know it's been hard for me lately to come up with ideas. We are still not up, as far as I can tell. <laughs> if you notice before I do, feel free to tell me. We have a bunch of things on, uh, on DDA I need to tour. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, but obviously they're on NA, so I can't tour them, but there's a bunch of contest stuff. This is, wow, what a change. This is the Aeliad home, but with all these trees and view blocking stuff, they're really enclosing things and directing your views, which I, I appreciate, I like. Up we go. This is the first time you'll be able to see things from beyond. Uh, hello guys, hi. Delicia Collectra. Um, it's just a complete change from what you normally see in here. I guess they kind of finished it. What? 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 Look at that bridge. How nice is that bridge? I see. We have a combination of Aeliad slash possibly uh, Nedic possibly Eleanor. I mean, it's, I mean, they're all kind of the same. Um, Nedic is just a little older looking. And Needy's were the, I believe, the same as the Imperials. Now, of course, Eleanor is different, but it looks a lot like Nedic. Beautiful, beautiful temple. I love the cherry trees in here. It looks perfect. Oh, I wonder if this is going to be an entry to, uh, or was an entry to um, Crazy Vogue's contest for Heavenly or whatever it was. It, Heavenly Light, I think the name of it was. I haven't seen the entries. I know he said that um, it, uh, blah, 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 Aerie was going to tour it. But I haven't seen, in the, I don't know if she has yet. What's that? I would love to know if she has. And then see if I can find the, the, via, the VOD. No effects, 693 items. I think the, uh, the center is, mo I, I, they can't have built underneath in the main ruin because this is just, 
there's too much detail. Holy crow, Eastern? Let me check. Eastern. So my time, 3.30, so two hours, two more hours. Guess we're living on e EU for a little while. That's all right. I owe you some tours anyway. Yeah, so the whole thing is in this is in this part, the beach part, and there's nothing on the inside, which is fine. I appreciate it when people make it easier to tour or whatnot. All right, Lady Cub, uh, Twin Arches, seasonal summer, a cozy place to relax and unwind. I was playing my main character for a, a while yesterday, my new main, um, going through the, co the quests and whatnot, and it's weird. I, I noticed something that I never noticed before, which is that the Mayormer that you see in Canarthi's Roos, they are all, they all look blind. They have white eyes, like, um, like oracle eyes. They look very odd. No, two more hours, Katie. So we have, um, this Twin Arches has been built up to be like a little Eden. Look at the stairway. Huh? No effects. So these are just weird flowers placed here. And then, although you can't go here, you can look at it if you build out of bounds. And they've built a little lady tree. And then this part you can walk on, but obviously not back here. So she's got two lady trees in spots you can't go to. And just a nice little patio up here that lets you look out. Oops. And then uh, the stairs have guards so you don't fall off. Oh, look, it's a bird in mid-flight. Reskin. You're small. I'm level what? I don't even know. I can't read it. I'm little, whatever I am. They added this extra wall in here. And, um... I like this a lot. Look at the uh, the natural edging to this to this house. You see how it breaks into tile. It does underneath too, but if you notice, it's it goes from this sand tile looking thing to this edging tile. So it changes from tile to tile. It's kind of pretty. I would, you know, if I were to redo my twin arches, I would try to have that that other tile showing. But this looks really good. And that was Lady Cub. All right. Do catch light. Uh, Eden Observatory. Weigh your heart. That sounds like Egypt. I don't know. 19 minutes in. But, um, so the other day, I'm going through the main quest, and I get up to the ultimate big bad and, uh, of the main quest. And I get to the point where it's the killing blow. I kill him, and in that same last shot where he dies, a titan comes up to me, knocks me out of uh, the, the area for the quest, and uh, knocks me into this 
kind of, um, I was still in the, in the shot basically, but outside of the, of the quest area. And that was it. Molot Ball disappeared. The quest didn't, con uh, didn't continue. Everything was, that was it. It just stuck. There was nothing I could do about it. So I had to contact, what are people doing? They're trying to get into heaven. That's clever. Nice wing job there. That sounded dirty, but it's not. Um, they're trying to do that, and I got stuck like that. It is. I reloaded UI, nothing. I sat there for a while, nothing. So finally, I contacted customer service, and I said, could you please help me? <laughs> Uh, they gave me credit for the quest, and then it ported me to the next step of the quest. Good lord, this is gorgeous. If I'm up against this in the heavenly light thing, I'm totally losing. Um, this is gorgeous. Look at that dragonfly. How stunning, Catchlight. The waterfalls are just really gorgeous, too. Great idea. Yeah, it is cool. Oh, it's a griffon! Look at eggs. So that sucked. <laughs> a lot. Um, because I didn't get to... I had been recording it because I wanted to get that last shot in because uh, the, the enjoyment of it, it was great. It was vast. So I wanted to play through that part again, but... I didn't get to record it because that last shot didn't go off the way it should have. Look at the rivers. My God, this must have cost a fortune. All that snow. Hey, Mrs. T. All that snow and the rivers must be just extremely expensive to make this. And it's so complex. There's a lot going on in here. I don't want to miss anything. There's a, there's another, oh, look at the little bridge. The little bridge is a um, tonal arc or two tonal arcs. All right, so this is Pretty Ladies and Crystal. This is another lady tree. We're seeing a bunch of those today. This is very creative. There's so many different things to look at. And then this over here is a stairway. Not sure if I went up that or not before. Is that where I came from? I think that's where I came from. We'll figure that out after. There's another walkway here through a waterfall, but first, I think this, so those are made with the lights. Those are lights from uh, the newest zone, Dunlands. I'm not going to be able to say that much any longer because we're going to get another zone eventually. Um, multiple waterfalls, if you wanted to do that, that's how you do that sheet of water. Those look really good, actually. I'm kind of amazed they were able to put this much stuff in here. Look at that. The water is smoke. multiple boats on smoke water. The whole thing is just crazy. In a good way, but crazy. Oh shit. 
<laughs> uh oh, you can go this way? Lyrinth's not letting me into hell. Damn you, Lyrinth. Literally. That's made with with soul shards, sky shards, rather. I made the same mistake on Reddit this morning. I called that a soul shard. I don't know why. I think because I'm just thinking plot-wise and it's getting me confused. Um, or maybe just because I forget words. Who knows? Okay, so that's the arm holding some sort of orb. Orb. This is amazing. So much stuff in here. Okay. Library. Bridges. Okay. We did that. And that's, I guess, the lighthouse, like you said. And that leaves the boats. Okay, we've done the whole thing. That's insane! This is insane. I just thought you should know it is insane. Um, let's do Mooncat. 1992. Ebonheart. Ebony Flask. Uh, Lyrinth's Daedric Shop. For all your dark soul gem needs and Bane can care. Oh, and don't bother bringing gold, mortal. <laughs> Hello. Little mortal, as a certain someone would say. We meet again, little mortal. Okay, so Larenth is going to sell us stuff. This has 22 items out of 30. They have a little bit of room, but I think they filled it quite nicely. Um, you can buy a bunch of soul shards, you can buy books, you can buy uh, Daedric books, no less. Crystals, cake, have some cake. It's a really clever idea, especially for such a small space, you know? Did Periite screw up again? Can't see Periite's light. I think it's going through the roof, though. Okay. And we've got... Terran, are you on? I'm holding off out for a Terran. Kai, Rook, Suz, Seder. Happy coming, sugar bowl. Roll play. Okay. La 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 la! I'm ice cream now. I'm a, I'm a rainbow ice cream. No less. Okay, let's see what it says. Need to relax after an adventure? Need a company besides your fighting companions? This room is just for you. Oops, I forgot to unclicky. Oh dear, there's a face coming through. That's not good. I mean, there's some hubba hubba going on, which is fine, but there's a face coming through the wall. Did no one notice this but me? So we have 30 out of 30 items, but it's funny how, like, you can fill up an entire house and then just have one little thing seem a bit off, and you have a mystery of sorts. It's really cool. All right. 
Let's do a, the strident. So. Nana. Ma. Right. Ma Riken. 28. Strident. House Lothair. Lore inspired. What? You can sit there, but I'm not letting you in, little one. You're gonna eat her. If you wanna see a little girl. Oh, she disappeared. Oh, she brought her little toy. She wants me to play with her. Sorry, no. I'm doing stuff. House Lothair. All right. So this is um, not my favorite house, but I love what most people do to it because they make it not look like it normally. Oh, they've got ramparts here. Probably on the other side too. Okay. You see what's going on? They added ramparts so you could see that there are horses parked outside. Those are out of bounds. They took the horses and pushed them forward until they could put them outside. There's a grave here. Let's see what's up in the tower. Crafting area. And gives you another view of the horses outside. There are no effects in here, at least not that I can see. That doesn't mean that they aren't in here and somehow I didn't get them. And look at that little spot to sit by the waterfall. It'll be loud, but nice. It's almost like a temple gardens. There's a lot of like graves and memorials and stuff. Here's the other side. That just leads you to look at the horsies. Oh. Imperial flags everywhere, huh? I guess that's the RP story behind it, Imperial. Every time I see food in, uh... Yeah, so half the time it's like repulsive, and the other half I want to eat it. Because <laughs> those, those kebabs looked really good. <laughs> and then, I don't know. This must be a general's tent or something? Or security? Everything here is very imperial. Except for the hist. The hist is not imperial. But that's okay. You can have a mix of things. There's nothing wrong with that. And it can easily be explained by travel or just things actually going together, looking like they belong. Although this person seems like they conquer lands and they are important somehow. Kitchen. Who's in there? Oh, it's the banker. Banker still spooking me out after all these years. Bath slash laundry. Oh, the big jerk. You are listening to the wit and wisdom of Admiral. Sometimes he gives bad advice. Advise us to step closer and listen well. Believe in yourself <laughs> and success will follow. Let me say Unless something. Not everyone is cut out for success. 
completely um, meaningless. <laughs> That's enough for now. Wouldn't want you to strain anything. Lovely bedrooms for guests, and then the master with an office. Clever. I wonder what the story is behind this. You know, it's one of those things that um, if you saw them RPing in here, I think that the environment is perfect for it. Okay. Got Salinara, uh, Dwemer, Schmeid? I don't know what that means. Schmeedy. Dwemer Schmeedy. Um, Stone Eagle. And it does say. Guild Hall. But I don't know what Dwemer Schmidi means. smithy it's like a smithy so a crafting area a dwemer crafting area okay that makes sense um here's all of the different mundi which a guild house many guild houses do have all of them They've closed up some of the water so you can get closer to the waterfall, which is kind of neat. This thing, in case you're curious, what this does is this puts your ultimate like it's ready to be used. So it, it basically make, pops your ultimate and makes sure your ultimate is ready to go. Um, you can use this over and over again if you, one of the daily is to uh, use your ultimate ten times. You can just do that ten times in a row, you know? Use the ultimate, recharge, use the ultimate, recharge. So a lot of guild houses have that too. And then we have feasting for the whole guild. You don't want to eat those though, those are kind of gross. They're an acquired taste. Okay, this way, we're just going to go out the side and get a nice view. Ah, they built back up. So here's part of the smithy. Um, all of this machinery here. They've built over a level. This level isn't normally here. They created this. And then they added the blacksmithing area here. So if you wanted to blacksmith, you could even do it in roleplay. So yeah, just so you know, I am redoing all of my videos slowly, but um, actually not so slowly. I've been doing it daily. Uh, both my EHT videos and my, um, regular building videos. I'm trying to update them. Here's the, so you can change colors. But they built, see, they even put a roof over this extra piece that they built. It looks really good. It looks Roman almost. Um, I'm doing it because I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. Like... And I'd like to leave them in a situ in a state that is usable and I cannot be embarrassed about people seeing them. When I first started posting them, I didn't know how to do a lot of things in video editing that I know how to do now. Can I not go up? Oh, I can go up. Nice. We get this even taller view. This is crazy. Um, but now I know how to do some things to like speed them up and uh, edit a little better. 
and so they're they're getting better plus i'm updating them as i go and that way if i ever leave you have the the body of work there still for you if you if you want it for your own use down we go we'll use the enchanting and i'm assuming we're not back up or one of you would have told me what is this for it looks almost like a lounge Look like a. I don't know. Not yet. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ooh, shoot! <laughs> that was almost really bad. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really good. Next. Stop growling. Jewelry area, alchemy area. So you kind of would need to know what you're looking for if you're a, uh... oh, and here's a dummy and a vampire reduced level thing. If you, you would probably need to know what you're looking for because it's, a lot of these tables are spread far apart. <clears throat> Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it may take a bit. Are you all right, buddy? Connor has a cough. And uh, occasionally he, he coughs, but he's all right. Did they close off the other room? No. Breakfast goes brr. Okay, breakfast goes brr. Storage. Banking. Nothing, I guess? Yeah. Knock it off, Sherry. Oh, Mr. Connor would like to leave now. All right, Bigfoot. Go ahead. Go. Go. <clears throat> Big footsies. He has them. So, Guildmaster's room. I'm sorry for the tale that Sherry, whenever Connor leaves, she likes to come over and say hi because. She's a very scared kitty and doesn't like the other kitties. Floof tail. Floof tail. Ooh. I think that's it. I think we got it all. Didn't we all almost have it all? So it's a totally different take on a guild house. <clears throat> it's uh, very spread apart and it lets you RP a little bit more I think because of it fan will they learn the 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 Laren. I can speak and that's still waters Mizana left outpost. This is the last trading post of the Dwemer. It was founded by Dumak Mazanak. After his people mysteriously disappeared, he opened it to all peoples. Now it is the trading post for all races of Nern and a warm place for all travelers in the mountains of western Skyrim. Thanks for the follow, New Nirvano. Let me just get this open just in case. Because you never know. Mm. 
Okay. I have that set now. So, okay, so people are shipping stuff. This makes sense. And that's 45. What's all 44? I guess they can gamble here or sit before the fire. This is an unusual entrance to store to uh, Stillwaters. You know, I see usually I see like one of two things. One is this is really mostly a, a, a hall to just pass through, and there's not a lot of decoration in it. Sometimes there's nothing at all. Um, I don't usually see it as a focal point like this. But you can buy things. You could go to the bank. You can sit under the pretty lights. Get something to eat. And then you can go out and see what's on the lake. Wow. I guess that's why 624 out of 700 items most of those items are in that front area but that's okay because you know this really is a frozen lake it's not supposed to be like necessarily a house but some people make it into a house i think we're getting so used to people making it into a house that we forget it's on top of a frozen lake too at least i do there's some crafting stuff over here They built the armory into the wall. I don't know that, no, I don't think you can use any of this stuff because it's built in, but that's okay. Some people do, do it for decoration. A bathroom. With an open roof. Wait, did I skip a room? Library bedroom. They built their own little house. A pretty little house with an open floor plan, really. Let's see if there's anything. I think there will be in the cave. Nothing over there. I don't think, no. And let's check the hot spring. There's a little spot over here that's always a little bit of liquid so some some people build a hot spring in there yeah it was i think i saw movement there not sure what i saw but this is just a snow elf thing so that's that's all that is moving on very fun. Okay, we can do a stay moist. We'll do encyclopedique. Stay moist. Encyclopedique. Uh, Firelink Shrine. Okay, unfortunately, it's referencing Dark Souls, which I know nothing about. So I probably won't get any references that it might have. So I hope you all are a little better versed than I am in that stuff. All right, Dark Souls lovers, welcome to my Firelink Shrine remake in another time space dimension. Take a seat at the bonfire, charge your Estus flasks and be ready for the next fight. Okay, this is a stay moist which usually has a big poo house. But there is no poo house to be found here. Instead, we're building up over it. That's the poo house right there. So they put a, a group of trees in front of the poo house so you can't see it, and then they built up. Okay. 
One less poo house, as far as I'm concerned, is a good thing. To make a very realistic looking ground cover, having a mixture of materials is really good as well. Notice how there's dirt, then rock, then there's bushes, there's some moss covered rocks, there's some ivy. I mean, really what it comes down to is you have to mess around with it until you think it looks real. Here's a little prison with a Ferrari in it. Look, one of the poles is bent. She might be able to get out if she keeps working on that. So not really being a Dark Souls person, I have to just assume that this is a safe place in what is that how did they make that okay I know what that is that's that swir swirly tool and then I think they put a light in there as to make more of a hilt That's an interesting toy. Hello, Franca. Toy? An interesting cobble is what I meant to say. Why I said toy, I don't know. Yeah, no hobbits is in this one. This place kind of keeps going. I'm going to assume... Hello! That this is... Um, okay, that's closed off. You can't go that way. It's an interesting view of the of the ruined castle, though, if you look. They built that. That isn't there, and yet it looks real. Um, another... Must be portals. In the real game. Yeah, can't go up anymore. This is just wild, though, and it's really cool. It's too bad you can't see it from the outside, you know? It's pretty slick. All right. We'll go to Iola Stars. On the Sleep Creek. The Last Bendari. Where the great green forests of Allenwood fade into the sunburnt plains of Illsquare is an almost forgotten trader's post. Tread lightly, respect the flora and fauna, and you just might end up find exactly what you're looking for upon the shelves. Safe onward travels, stranger, and keep your eyes upon the path. Fantasy and magic. Keeping us entertained until the game comes up. Okay. Oh, excuse me. The last Bandar. Okay, this is a Sleek Creek. When did I die? I don't remember dying. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. So they've redecorated. A lot of people have been redecorating Sleek Creek and exercised both with these sulfur pools, which I need to get. And they look really interesting here. Again, combination of textures to make something look real. The mossy gra the mossy rocks, uh, ivy, water, plants, just greenery. Pretty lady. I swear, people on EU are just, they're just fire at doing this. They're so good at clutter. Yeah, they're, um, apparently it's going to be down until 4.30 Eastern.
That is what I was told. It's like a cool little shop. No effects, 400 out of 400. We really do. A lot of them are, are um, graphics artists, and architects, things like that. But then there's just others who just have a great natural talent at it. Um, or a good eye. But it's hard to believe this is, uh, this is Slee Creek, but it is, and it's quite beautiful. So natural looking. Alright. We'll do the booty bee. Uh, Sisters of the Sands, and it's Artist Room. apologize for being not around as much. I have not been well. I'm struggling. But hopefully things will improve. I don't know if they will, but, you know. I've been so tired. Okay, this is an artist room by Woodby. Okay, this is the Sisters of the Sands. So, right away you know it's a big difference because the walls are redone. And there's a, this isn't normally here when you first walk in. They built a, a, like a separation in the room. What is that? That's interesting. There must be a sneaky in here. Yeah, I hope so too. There is a sneaky in here. Okay. So the bunny is looking at the art that the artist presumably makes. Or the bunny is the artist and there's this little sneaky and this is where they live they've got their um their desk they've got their bed one for the cat and there you go that's how they made a separate private room which is fun all right cyber queen You got a uh, serenity, and it's traditional, a cozy Khajiit home in elsewhere style. My cat is having a lot of fun playing with toys, so you may hear clicking and stuff. That's her playing. I apologize, but I'm not going to stop her from having fun. Alright. So this is Serenity Falls, which is also not one of my favorite homes. But they really did a nice job with it. First of all, they've made it look so much more natural. With the grasses, the butterfly bushes, the extra trees. It feels more natural. I also like the water having stuff in it. Yeah, she's a cutie. She doesn't come on, down off her tree too much when the other cats are in here. She doesn't like them. But uh, when she's alone, she'll, she plays a lot. So I'm not going to stop her from playing when... Uh, clearly, she doesn't get too often to do it. I love also when people turn this house into the main house. But this is closed off. You can't go into there. And there's no, uh, it's limited visitor, so I can't open the door. Probably intentionally. It looks so much more tropical. Planters. And then, oh, what's this? A little, a little boozy area. I could use some of that today. Glass of wine or something.
my poor husband yesterday we were bake we were cooking for the week you know like prepping all of the meals for the week and he was really tired he had a long work day and decided to push through cooking with me and then uh, as he's putting away the dishes he had both of the uh, measuring shot glasses in his hand you know the little they, they're liquid measurers and they're glass. And we have two of them because the writing started to rub off of one. And uh, he ended up dropping it and breaking both of them. And he had bought the second one this past weekend. And he was just like, oh, I'm so, I'm like, just, just go to bed, just go to bed. But I did laugh at him because it was just, it was funny. I wasn't trying to be mean to him. But I laughed at him because he had just bought the second one. It was so, I mean, over the over this very weekend, he had bought it and then he breaks it. And it was just, it was poor timing, but it made it funny. And I apologized to him, but I'm like, you just have poor luck. He's like, I knew I was too tired to be doing this. I knew I was gonna make a mistake. <laughs> poor guy. It doesn't matter. It's, I mean, he, there, he can get another one, but it's just, it was funny. So this whole second floor is extremely luxurious. I know, I know. And it's so, it's sad. It's, I feel sorry for him. I'm a terrible person for laughing at him, but what do you know? So I think we're all done here. Very elsewherean home as she said okay so Fenris I don't know if you guys remember who Fenris is Fenris 86 uh St. Ellen's Fenris is a character from um the Dragon Age series it doesn't have a theme to it 102 and uh a great series hello Okay, this is, is that an effect? Yeah, there's lots of effects in here. All right, we've got darkness. So this is the example I was showing, telling you guys about in a recent video. Um, and we lower, you lower the brightness so that things stand out more and look more fiery. Of course, the lava effect, not the most tr realistic effects but yes, it is in fact um, an effect you can use to re replicate lava. These are, yeah, these are um, lights and those are glyphs that you can add from EHT. The problem with this is that because you are layering two different effects, sometimes they cut each other off depending on the angle that they're at so that's why you can only see half of the glyph from some views and then other views you can see the whole thing so you may want to try fiddling with that just until you get it to work and then it's got i want to say that's probably fog up there and falling ashes there's a spider web on the wall done in red which is cool that's crackling magic on the floor, you see. All sorts of different effects in here. Definitely a learning opportunity in that regard. She was happy, close the door. She's been playing and happy. Okay. Mm -mm. So that was cool. All right, we'll do no act one. Uh, Ravenhurst. La Cabane. Lore inspired. I'm sure one of you knows what that means. I don't. That's not Gideon Emery, is it? Ariel? Ariel? Is that Gideon, em Gideon Emery who is the voice actor for Fenris? I can't recall. I don't think they gave him that big a job. So this is No Act One's Ravenhurst, and it's um, 
Laura-inspired Le Caban, whatever that is. I think it's French. So they've created uh, what looks like bubbles by flipping up the Merc, Merc My Candles upside down. That's a, uh, that's a trophy's nose. A nose trophy. It is, okay. Yes. I have a thing for Gideon Emery myself. Um, his voice is unmistakable. Once you know it, you can hear it no matter what voice he's making. You're just like, that's Gideon. Um, I was playing in Diablo 2 or 3 or whatever it was, and uh, I heard a guard saying something, and it, it wasn't even a main character. It was just, just a guard saying something. And I'm like, oh my god, that's Gideon. And I look in the credits, and sure enough, he's like, random voice, you know? <laughs> And it's like, oh yeah, totally, totally can hear it. So they added extra rooms. These, of course, don't exist. So they created more storage in here. And this little section's all, it's all covered over in different spots. But you can see how it goes so well. Yeah, he does. Uh, which is why I was saying, like, it's hard to miss him. Once you know him, you know him. Um, he seems like a nice enough guy in real life. I followed him on Twitter for a while. Uh, they closed off the back room, I think. See, so, uh, the backyard, maybe? Or is that just, no, they closed off the fake exit. This is the real exit. Yeah. Wow, what a pretty garden. Oh, this is really nice. And then they've got a... Uh, another... Like a veggie garden. Grapes, tomatoes. Oh, I need summer to be here. The only problem with summer coming is then summer's going to end. <laughs> you know, there's never any moment of satisfaction. Here's a nice toilet using the antiquity as the toilet bowl. I'm never satisfied, because it's like, oh, things are good? Well, they're going to stop being good. And that's just a terrible way to think of things. <laughs> you got to enjoy stuff. <laughs> uh, I suck. All right, we'll wait for Lavathi for any Lavathis. We'll do Valen 1, Panther Fang, Castles and Forts. Not every vampire is savage beast who lives in the crypt filled with the remains of his victims. Some of us like comfort and luxury, and for time to time, a company. Welcome to Pantherfan Castle. Enjoy a glass of good wine, dance in spacious ballroom, rest in a guest room, or examine the stacks of books in the library. And have no worry, traveler, no one touches your precious snack. Precious snack? That's true. Some people may be into that. All right. Some people are into that. So we're in the little boathouse. And you never know, sometimes people want you to go in through the Undercroft, but they've closed off the Undercroft here, so they clearly don't want us going in that way. So the only, they also basically made that a sneaky? Oh, they closed that off too and put a sneaky Dark Brotherhood type spot here with a guard. Clever. Now we're in the temple, which has been, wow. They, okay, cause we're in the temple. The temple has cathedral ceilings. Now it doesn't. They've reskinned the temple to block out the windows and 
put another roof on. Actually, they turned this into a hall, not block. I what even? It's like a meeting room. Kitchen. I wonder if they closed off the the castle itself. And then they created a second floor in the temple, which I don't blame them. I, I've seen people do that mostly to create a loft for music. Like, you know, there's an organ up there or whatever. Like this. Interesting. That's a cobbled uh, organ. Here's a bedroom. I mean, it does make sense that... Uh, A vampire sect is in a former church because that's so vampire-y. Thumbing their nose at religion. All right, up we go another floor. Oh, here's the library. I'm going to guess it's all in this house. I'm going to guess they didn't do anything with the courtyard or castle. Let's see. If I can figure out how to get back down. Looks like there might be a way out. <laughs> okay, we've got a little bit of the courtyard here. And then we've got an outdoor seated area for sitting by the fire. And that's it. They've closed off the rest. Understood. So they've really put it all, packed it all in this really tight space. Got uh, Nicodemus. Nicodomos. Hey, Jibu. And that's uh, Old Miss Fell. And that's Julius Zuflocht which I don't know what that means, but. I guess I could look it up. A place providing safety or shelter, refuge. Okay. I don't know what the Julius part is, but it's a refuge. Maybe it's the character's name. And we've got things for sale, 599 out of uh, 600 items. Some nice clutter. Looks like a crafting area too. This might be their home base. Oh, plants are evil, evil plants. We're just keeping busy until things go back up on NA. But it's never a bad thing to look at EU houses. 
And this is all in the machinery area. What are they building? Okay, this is odd. It's like biomes. This is a uh, very Merkmire-y, and this is, hi, your heart. This is all mechanical, and then there was um, another section was more rustic. Very interesting. I'm having trouble getting over here. I see a little spot is, is Alinori. I think they split it up by style. And then here's more uh, things to use. And then what's inside? Tailoring section, library, maybe bookshop, banking. And are those real books? No. Nordic, of course, on the inside. Very, very eclectic. I mean, they got a little bit of everything, it seems like. Oh, that's interesting. They're putting the, they're putting some of the head trophies in display cases. Not something I would have thought to do, but it doesn't look bad. They picked good ones for that. Kitty. And that's it. I've got an annoying cat jumping up here. I apologize. All right. Skuma catnip. Moon sugar. Catnip meadow. And it's Treehouse of Three Sisters, Khajiit, Bosmer, and Dunmer. And each of them brought their own vision to make this place a home. All right, I need a quick bathroom break. I will just be a moment. Thanks, you too. Just give me another sec, I'll be fast. If you ever see something that you want me to explain how to do, or you want to ask me questions about things, maybe on here, maybe not, just feel free. You can always ask. You're not interrupting anything. Um, I am happy to talk to you about things. All right. Let's not go up first. Let's, go, let's check out the bottom first. I see... Hello, Sadara. And then we have, uh, this is a way a lot of people make umbrellas, like sun umbrellas. You can sit here and fish. Very pretty. And we came at a good time because I think the lighting is uh, perfect right now for it. Thanks. Um, you know, most days lately I've been just terribly tired. It's the fatigue mostly. Um, everything else other than that I can mostly deal with, like even pain. I'm okay with pain and I'm okay with um, being confused because I'm used to that now. But the tiredness is just, I, it, it's basically destroys my will to do anything, including stream. So it's a tree house with a couple of things on the water. And it's made out of multiple greenhouses. Look at the way the light 
connect streams in. And then they've got this guy. What a beautiful arrangement. I wonder if he's a very happy lizard. Triple mirror here. I like the curtains. The curtains give you a lot of privacy and make it look like a totally different room. No effects in here, so those are torch bugs you're seeing here and there. And then uh, library. Pretty fountain. And then here is a second set of rooms, but I'm not sure this is a greenhouse. No, it isn't. This is just walls. They've made a spa section. And beautiful sink. And bathroom. And then on this side, same thing. They built this out. This is not greenhouse. No, I know. I would totally do the same. The I'm used to pain. Pain is all right. I can deal with it. Uh, smoking some of the meats. But fatigue just kills your will to do anything. And you end up... Uh, it just... You want to sit there and do nothing. Um... The difference between fatigue and being tired, if you're not sure, if you don't know, look at the little apple tree. Um, it's actually really simple once you hear it explained once. This is gorgeous, by the way. Oh my lord, I'm taking a picture of that. That's brilliant. Um, the difference between fatigue and being tired is when you're tired and you go to sleep, you wake up, presuming you got enough sleep, you're not tired anymore. Fatigue, it doesn't matter how long you sleep. It doesn't matter how much you rest. You are still tired. You still feel like you haven't slept in days. It still feels like you can't think straight. And that's why I say I would take pain over fatigue. Yeah, they really thought about this. This is quite lovely. Second, underneath, they've got all of their crafting stuff and things like that. It's quite beautiful. I think we're stuck here, though. I don't think there's a way out. No. <laughs> that's it. Um, so that's how they differ, in case you were curious. Really lovely. I mean, this is your exclamation point right here. It's absolutely beautiful. Perfect. All right. And so if you ever hear your friends or family complaining about fatigue, it's pretty miserable. Liana. Uh, Maris kiss. Every and Necro has to begin somewhere. Auberge du Goet de Vocal. Hey, you're an EUer, so you don't, you don't have it so bad, but I'm sure you guys will have your own day of misery. I'm sure it's coming, unfortunately. All right. We're in a necromancer's home by Liana. Ah, I see. Okay, so there's only 30 items allowed in here. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I mention it when it's okay. They have a sulfur pool in their Mara's Kiss, and they have this guy, like, pickling in it. Yep, a necromancer has to start somewhere. I mean, I talk about it when it's relevant. It doesn't bother me if, um to talk about it too much, but I don't, I don't find myself complaining about it as much as I find myself just mentioning it. But I don't know if people know that 
I'm just mentioning it. <laughs> Imperial Villa Gardens and Estates and Marican. Well, good. Because I, I don't want to pretend I'm not somebody I'm not. He's not. It's the sulfur. Urgh. Okay. This is Anna Marican's Lynchel. Um, but what I like about it is they're using these PvP heads, which I wish I could ever get, as a very imperial looking decor. I'll show you. They built up on the house. That house has additional stuff on it. So, let me show you. That, of course, Mer Meradia isn't normally on top of the house, but you see that little extension over the patio? They added two Alinori stairs, one facing each direction so that it looks like a Roman, you know, temple or something. And then they have the four um, columns holding it up. That's ancient Greek looking style uh, or ancient Roman, whichever you want. They both did it. And um, they added on a classical extension to it. Or a classic extension. And then, of course, all the statues are imperial. If you look for them under the... Uh, if you look for them under the furnishings in F5... You'll find them all listed as Imperial. They'll say Imperial on them. Um, the ones that I was looking at. There's a little bit of Alinor in here. Dragon Guard. Um, some stuff that's not specifically Imperial, but looks Imperial. I think Lucilla is Imperial. Okay, this is cool. This pool is not usually divided. They put these rocks in between, added fencing, and created two separate pools. That's actually really nifty. They made it more fountain-y and less pool-y, so that you don't go swimming. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, with the blue trim. I wonder what's in here. Booze, food, kitchen, uh, all sorts of crafty stuff. They also added fencing along here. It's very interesting. It's a total change, you know? It, it looks so different. And we have a little eating area outside. My favorite parts of the house include the sunflowers. But I guess they thought they looked too fake, so they stuck them in the back and not the front. But I like them. By that I mean Zoss stuck them in the back. There's a couple of fields of sun sunflowers in this house, because I own it. But most of them are in the back. I think all of them are in their back, actually. Yeah, here. I think that's a, sa a shame that they gave them to us, but hid them. Look at how they move. It's kind of wild. <laughs> they, follow, they follow you. All right. Interestingly, mine is also a uh, an imperial home, or at least it was. I think I may have taken it away from that, but I did an imperial home with this as well uh, for a contest, and then a lot of it just stayed imperial for those reasons. I am their son, apparently. They followed me. 
Look at this huge desk. Somebody thinks they're important. You think you're important, sir. And then here's a bedroom. Eh, the things you learn from me. A little bit of a museum going on, gaming. Oh, another office. In another bedroom. Well, I'd say this is about as fancy as the downstairs one, so it's hard to tell whose is more important. And there we go. That's a very lovely imperial home. Okay. Uh, head of Vertru. Lake Meyer. Argonisha's Aquarium. I don't know what that means. Maybe Argonian? How do you guys do it on EU? I mean, everybody's speaking in a different language. Do you just look things up when you want to know what's being said? Or is there some way that's auto-translated? Do you speak that many languages? Like, I don't, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> it's goofy. All right, cat of air true. I don't know if there's anything on the outside, but let's start inside then. All right, thank you. We'll finish this up anyway. We just started it. So the bank, right when you walk in, oh, they went very gardeny out here. I thought this went up. Somehow they managed to make it go directly out to the. Okay, I don't know how they did that. I'm so confused. I don't know how they did that. but they managed to build this whole other section right in front of the aquarium. Yeah. So they must have closed off the back half of the aquarium house. And then they built these lofts and oh, this house is so unique. Very interesting. See, this is what threw me. When you come in and you go to the left, there's an upstairs. They just cut it off and somehow managed to go right to the aquarium. I find that so weird. Let's see if they did anything outside. All right, I'll switch. Nothing outside. Okay. That's wild. Is, has anyone tested NA yet? I guess we'll try Knopf Temples. It is up. Okay, so I'm going to head on over. And I'm probably going to call it. So let me check to see who's on. Because I am a sleepy, sleepy stabby. Catatonia. We'll start the raid to Catatonia. Make sure you enter exclamation point piece, uh, exclamation point potato for PCNA and PCEU only. Um, 
I give away 100,000 gold every time I stream. All right, see you later. See you later. Okay, and then we're gonna... Let you guys enter. All right, I'll pull it. And the winner is... Sci-Fi Sarah. I need your username and a server. Just message to me, please. I'm Stabity Doom in game. If you want to send me the info. All right, guys. I see you soon. Say hi and be nice to Catatonia. Oh, my God. That was perfect, Gothic Lady. <laughs>